Hi, I'm James, and thanks for joining me on this brief tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to adjust the pivot point of an imported SVG vector graphic uh, inside of Spline. Uh, that's been a lot of conversation about changing pivot points, particularly in the uh, Spline Discord, and especially on adjusting that on an SVG graphic. Uh, we can use SVG graphics as a custom shape for the path tool, but sometimes it can present problems uh, if the pivot point is not in the center of the SVG graphic, especially if we use it on a path and we want to adjust that path, such as using a twist or something like that. So this can be very helpful. Uh, now, it's not perfect, uh, but uh, like the saying goes, it may be good enough for government work. So uh, let's begin. First thing I'll do here is just uh, I'm going to set up a new spline file. All right. Now here we have the directional light, a rectangle. We don't need this rectangle. I'm just going to delete that. And um, also I'm going to change the background color to something a little bit lighter. So just be a little bit easier to see once we start adjusting that there. I think that's pretty good. So uh, one thing we're going to do is uh, using the ellipse tool, we're going to set up a, a center uh, marker. And that's going to help us out later once we import that vector file. So let's just create a 20 by 20 uh, circle. Just hold your shift key. 20 by 20, 20, uh, 25 by 25. There, that works. Let's change the color of that to red so it's easily uh, visible when we're using it later. And you'll understand why that's important. And then now we're going to, again, grab that uh, circle, that ellipse, and let's position it on the um, zero of X and Y. So it's dead center uh, in the scene there. So you can see it there. Now, also, just as a side note, uh, do not zoom in or zoom out while you're doing this because that could change uh, the location of the pivot point while you're trying to adjust it for your imported uh, vector. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go into Adobe Illustrator. And you can see I have this uh, graphic here, SVG change pivot that I created earlier uh, right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and export that. Export as... And again, uh, I'd already exported it out for the spline tutorial, but uh, you could uh, save that. I'm going to export it again and just replace it. And you can just use the default SVG options. So hit OK. So it saved that out. I'm going to close this now so that I can easily import it into spline. So now we're back in spline. And you notice bottom left, it says import vector SVG. So I hit that, and uh, interesting, it's not, not coming up. I may need to close my Adobe Illustrator. Let me close that. I quit Illustrator. All right. So now we're back in Spline. Let's try import again. And there we go. All right. So there's our SVG. We're going to import and open that up and bring it into Spline. So you'll notice the SVG came in, and its pivot point is in its upper left hand corner but you notice that graphic that came in it's it's also at zero and zero for the x and y uh, and you can see the red dot is on the center point of the of the svg graphic if you look over in in the left in the in the hierarchy uh, there the the svg comes in as a group uh, so that shape is within that group I'm going to take it, move it outside of that group. So I just have the shape. I'm going to go ahead and just delete the name of that group. So I just have the, the, the vector shape right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the color attribute of the vector, and I'm going to change the transparency to 30%. And that's important so that you can uh, see uh, the red circle that we made earlier so that you'll be able to see that behind that vector graphic when we're moving it into position. So if you double click on the vector, you'll see you have all the control points for the vector shape. And if you were to select just one control point and try to move it, obviously you could, you could try to move each one of the points 
into place and, and essentially redraw the vector. Um, let me undo and, and go back out of that. Um, but uh, that's a little bit tedious. So what you could do is just select all the control points. But then you, you may say to yourself, well, if I collect all the control points and then I try to remove, move the graphic, it doesn't go. Well, this is the little trick. So you collect, uh, select all the control points, drag and, and, and select them all. And then all you need to do is just touch one of the control points. So you click and hold. And that allows you to drag all of the rest of the control points of the vector. And then, again, you can adjust and move the, it into position. This is the not so precise part. But you can get it right in the center there. Let go. And then there you go, your, your graphic, your, your SVG, uh, you've just moved it to adjust the center point. So now all we need to do is just double click uh, or just click outside of uh, and get out of that uh, vector editing mode. And as you'll notice, the center point has changed on the SVG graphic. Again, um, now you could come in let's let's go ahead and create a path let's create a path yeah so there's a path for you we'll go out of path mode and then we're going to do a custom shape for the path extrusion right now it's on circle we go custom and then let's select that shape of our uh, svg graphic and boom you can you can see that the shape is at the center and this becomes useful especially if we're doing things like a twist it twists along the path and not offset and that's really what what we want when we're using an SVG graphic like that uh, because in, in a different way here let's bring that SVG graphic in again that doesn't have the adjusted pivot point you can see the pivot is still in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, again, I'm gonna pull the, uh, I'm gonna change this to a different, different name. I'll just name that X, uh, the shape here in the hierarchy. I'm gonna pull it outside of that group. Uh, delete the group again. So now we have another shape, shape X, which is this one here, that SVG graphic. The pivot point, the center point is still in the upper left. But watch what happens when we switch the. Uh, custom shape for the path to that point. So you can see there if because of that offset that it's not center when we when we twist it doesn't twist it twists along the path but also using the center point which is in the upper left to twist around. So you don't get a nice twist along the path that's in the shape of the custom SVG vector point. So uh, again, it's better to have it, have it centered like uh, when we were using this one here. So again, hopefully that helps a few people out and thanks for listening.